Awesome. Let's go to the chat. Oh. I got my tea and I'm rolling up. Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Auntie. I'm over here rocking out, honey. Yeah. All right. I'm rolling up too. <laughs> Come on in. We here. Family members and very close friends. And my mom still lives back there with the whole bloodshed and the ang anglophone crisis that's been going on. Mm. So basically what happened is when... um. When after World War II, mm -hmm. our country was just like split up between um, England and France. Part of Cameroon, like so where I'm from, my last name is a Nigerian last name. So really the rest of the way they split it, half of Cameroonians went and were Nigerians by force and the rest of us stayed on this side. So mm. yeah. when they had the whole Biafra war, that was right there where my family's from. So my family um, and people I know have suffered a lot. So this is really scary to see this happen again. It's a bilingual country, but you can literally speak to a lot of the French pe speaking people there and they don't know how to speak English. And they'll tell you, well, we don't have to speak English, but, but Anglophones, we speak French. Like I speak French, my sister speaks French, my, our whole family speaks French. My Do you guys understand like how deep this is rooted in colonialism? They're literally killing each other behind you speak French versus I speak English. Like the colonialism has done such a number on Africa. It is crazy. And even though we're technically free from Britain, France, Germany, you know, and, and all the Belgium and those countries that supposedly colonize all through Africa, we're technically not still free. Not at you know what all. Saying? There, there's literally a genocide going on for nothing more than because you speak a different language than me. And I was watching the news a lot and I started doing a lot of research on that. And they were saying that how we're, we're bound for another recession. They kept saying that we're bound for another recession. Mm -hmm. And even then that didn't go right to me. I'm like, how would they know that another recession is coming next year? You know what I'm saying? Right. But, uh, I was investing in gold. So I made a really good return on gold because I read how when money is scarce, resources like gold and silver shoot up, like they surge. Mm -hmm. But other than that, there's a, a game that I found like so funny. I used to play it years ago with my um, boyfriend like in 2012. It's called Plague Inc. Hold on. I re-downloaded it on my phone. I'm like, I don't want them to try to snatch it off the Play Store. Uh -huh. Like I really, if you could check it out, Please do, because you can make your own virus or bacteria. You choose where to drop it in the world. Wait, what? And they tell you how it passes. T, this is crazy. This is a game on the app. You can app start your own virus. And you and your boyfriend store. were playing Called this back. Play Wait, you and your boyfriend were playing this back in 2012. Yes. Wow. Back in 2012. Wow. I'm not even joking with you. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. What did you want to add to the discussion? So what um, Quinn Johnson brought up, there's another game. It's on the mobile cell phone. I was actually about to try to look it up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put the, the link in the chat so that everybody can find the game. What you do is um, it asks you if you want a bacteria, a virus, or a pathogen. You have to build up points and you spread the virus across the world. Then what ends up happening is they, um, ha you see planes flying around. They ask you, do you wanna make this an airborne virus? Do you wanna make this virus contact only? I think what ended up happening when that game came out, mm -hmm. they took, I played the game, so I'm a part of the problem. Let me admit that. So I think that anybody that played that game, they were taking notes and documenting how we would kill off the entire United States and the globe. How yeah. would we massively affect and kill humans in a rapid environment? Because you have to be rapid about it. They have a time limit. You only have a certain amount of time to, to kill billions upon trillions of people. They included real time numbers of mm -hmm. humans that lived on earth collectively through satellite, um, information like google satellite Hold on, barbara 
Is anybody getting chills listening to this? Or is it just me? Like, I'm literally getting chills. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes so, like, I'm like, like, I'm literally getting chills. Is you saying this? Oh, because we're living really this. Really crazy. Crazy. Literally. Yeah. 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 I'm from the Netherlands. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. What time is it in the Netherlands right now? Oh, God. Yeah. It's actually past. Oh God, yeah, past one already, but I don't have anything to do. So oh. I was kind of, yeah, I, I mean, it's also kind of like with this pandemic, things are just getting way worse and, and stuff like that. It's just insane. So are you guys locked down as well in the Netherlands and have to wear masks all the time? Yes, partly. Um, they call it like a partly lockdown. Um, but that's more so because of the fact that our government kind of failed us uh, mm -hmm. in some sort of way. Um, so they kind of put us on partly lockdown. Um, they are going to uh, make masks mandatory uh, in November. But in the beginning, it was they weren't convinced of that masks weren't doing anything. And I'm actually still convinced, but that's my personal view. I do believe in God, and I know that God does definitely allow some stuff, but I think man has definitely gone beyond himself. Like, we've had the AIDS, we've had Ebola. At one point, I was making a joke, like, people weren't afraid of Ebola because Ebola didn't have any passport or visa. Mm. But hey, Corona definitely got a visa and a passport because it just went through... Holy for borders, right? Yeah, I'm Haitian. Okay. So, so a lot of the stuff that I see going on in Nigeria, it's like, wow, we were just going through the same thing. People burning stuff. You're finding out that the government is holding stuff that the people don't know. The children couldn't go to school. They had to stay um, away from school. They, they went back. They finished the 2020 semester two months later. So they what are they missing? They have French or like what you said? I said, what do they mix with the the mulattoes, like the ones that you're kind of mulatto? Are they just light skin or are they like of a biracial? French, white French. So they're white French mm -hmm. people who have kind of basically procreated within themselves, is what I'm assuming. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And also now you have the Chinese coming over. Yeah. You have the Arabs coming over. But when you see the face of Haiti, like you said, you see the dark skins. Mm -hmm. But the people really running Haiti is the mulattoes. So when all the things are being burned, you see people dying. None of that stuff, none of the mulattoes are being affected. If anything, they're paying the dark skinned Haitians to go burn down the villages, the markets. So it makes us seem like the savages. But really... And that's why I say, you always say that we are one and whatever you see is going down in one country, mm -hmm. be patient. It's going to come down to the next one, to the next one. Yeah. And as you can see, even in the U.S., who's really being targeted? The Blacks. Lexi Lately, ATL. Okay. Everybody in the chat saying, um, oh. Deshaun, cute. <laughs> oh, they're trying to holler at you, Deshaun. <laughs> We got some thirsty girls. Calm down, calm down, everybody. Calm down, calm down. You I'm guys trip me out. <laughs> but I just want to start by saying, um, I don't know. I just feel like everyone, you just this is really a spiritual warfare. So you know, taking all of this stuff in, it's a lot, and it can weigh on your mental health. So I advise everyone, if you, if you tap in, like, whatever it is, if it's Allah, if it's m Muslim, if you need to meditate, yoga, just take care of your mental health, because this is a, a lot to take in. So that's People just, are asking in the chat, Marsha, how do you call your energy back? Um, so what I do to call my energy back, because it actually helps me sleep at night, and it's, it stops waking me up. So what I do is I say, um, yeah because I start calling him Yahweh and I start calling Jesus Yeshua. I say yeah. Yahweh, Yeshua, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Angels, Guys, Ancestors. I am releasing anything that is draining me. I am releasing it to your light. I am laying it at the foot of your cross. Anything that has attached to me spiritually, demonically, that is not of you, 
I'm releasing it. I'm cutting it. I'm releasing it to your light and I call back all my energy. I'm calling it back. Amen. And you just keep, yeah, you just and you just call your energy back. And if you wake up in the middle of the night, just call it back because it could be something trying to drain you. So Yeah, because remember we talked about that a few streams ago, and I know people are saying this in the chat, that a lot of us are waking up at two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Just randomly. You know, you might fall asleep at 10 and then it's like you wake up and it's like, what the hell? It's three o'clock, it's three thirty, and you want to go back to sleep. And now you're on Instagram because you literally cannot go back to sleep because you're mm -hmm. like something just woke you up. Like I just had to go pee. Now I'm up like, what y'all doing? Hey y'all, who's up? <laughs> you know, no, so no, cause she not get that wrong. Well, this was easy. Well, I got that I wrong. I got that one wrong. Who got that? I got that one right. I got it right. I actually guess you're right. I got it right. I shouldn't. It's an opinion. <laughs> It's not letting me choose answers. It's saying I'm new. I'm a new participant. I don't know what that means. I've seen this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, so team two one. Woo! In the top player. Yeah. It was a lot of people who got close, but it looks like Ari. Ooh. Congrats. What does it mean when you know, say You know what? Participant? There was several people that came in number one. So Ari Piglet, Ken Paul Rican, um, Umbertone, Lovely T, you know, some girl named mm -hmm. Lovely Tea, <laughs> Danny BC. So we need a tiebreaker out of those. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Yes, I like that idea. This is usually like if I want to take a picture with a filter, I don't know nothing about Snapchat. All right, Instagram for that. Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. That was a long Thank ride. You. That was not playing. I'm Tim. I got like more than half of those girls. <laughs> I'm going to send you um, 25 for winning the game. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, we always have fun. I love doing these little trivia games. Thank you. Let me look up my cash app. Okay. <laughs> Please send me a private message in the chat. 